Good day, viewers all over the world. I welcome you to this day, World Trumpet Impartation. May the Lord bless you. I thank you for last podcast that we talk about the faith speak. Today we are going to talk about something else. I want us to pray as we talk about this. Father, we thank you for everything. We give you all the glory. Father, take all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. As I said before, I am Pastor Alfred Abbey from the World Outreach Evangelical Ministry. We are looking at today agreement. Agreement. Before faith can speak, you need to have an agreement. There must be an agreement from your heart. You need to agree from your heart. And that's why we are looking at the scriptures today. We are looking at Amos 3.3. 3. It says, can two walk together except they agree? Can two walk together except they agree? From the New King James Version, it says, can two walk together except they agree? From the New Living Translation, it says, can two people walk together without agreeing on the direction? Without agreeing on the direction. So there must be a direction. There must be a direction. There must be a direction. Praise God. Then the NIV stated, it says, do two work together unless they, agree, they have agreement to do so. There must be an agreement to do so. Praise God. We are looking at agreement. But before faith can speak, like our previous podcast, before faith can speak, faith must first of all agree. You must agree from your heart. That's why the Bible says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. He who come to him must believe he exists and is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Jesus also said in the book of Matthew 18, 19, 18, 19, he says, And again I said unto you, if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that you ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. Did you see now that agreement, agreement is necessary, agreement. We need to agree before we can have anything come to pass in our life. We need to agree on the word of God. We need to agree on the, the promises of God. Agreement is also about covenant. Be believing the covenant of God at all time, what the promise God have agree on us. The promise God has said about us, we need to agree with those words. So today we are looking at this and we need to agree in all areas of our life. Like in Numbers 14, the Lord asked them to go and look, check the, the Moses asked them to go and check the land. When they came back, some of them gave a bad report. They decided not to agree on what God has spoken about the promised land that he has given it to them. They begin to complain. They begin to agree negatively on what they see. They never agreed in the word of God. For anything to work in our life, first of all, we need to first of all agree on the word. We need to have an agreement on the word. And once we have an agreement on the word, of God, as we speak it, things begin to happen in our life. Every agreement brings things to happen. Like in Matthew 16, also, he also says, where two gather together in my name, I am there. And he also went further and says, whatever you bind here on earth, that means whatever you agreed here on earth, and it takes two or three people to agree on a covenant. It takes two people or three to agree for things to work. Today, we are going to agree on a lot of things that the Lord has spoken about us. I know that there is somebody there, you, you stop believing the word. I want you to agree on that covenant word of God. The covenant means agreement. So we have to agree. That's why the Bible says, can two work together? Except they agree. And the, the New Translation Bible says it this way. It says, can two people walk to, together without agreeing on the direction? So you must agree on the direction the word of God 
is taking you to, the promises of God, the covenant of God is taking you to, we must agree on it in the name of Jesus. We must agree on every word that God has spoken on us in the mighty name of Jesus. So today we are going to agree on those words. I speak to somebody today that you are doubting, you are not agreeing with the word, you are, not, you, are, you are agreeing negatively. I want you to start agreeing on the promises of God because they are yes and they are amen. I want you to start agreeing it in your life today. As you are those words in your life today, it will be imparted into your spirit, soul, and body. I say again, it will be imparted into your spirit, soul, and body. I want us to start agreeing in the word of God. Like what the word says, it says those that stay on him, he will grant them perfect peace. And I believe today you will have peace. Those of you that are troubled in your heart, the covenant was spoken, the agreeing word of God spoken, you must agree that you will have perfect peace in the Lord. I also want you to understand that the Lord Almighty says he will fight your battle for you. Whatever you are going through now that looks as if you are fighting, I want to tell you now, the Lord says he will fight for you. He will fight your battle for you. That's why the psalmist says that the Lord, anyone that fight against you, the Lord will fight against that person. I want you to hold to that word. You that have been going through a lot, agree with those words that the word has spoken. He says, no weapon form or fashion against you will prosper. You that is saying things are not working well for you. I want to say to you this day that the mountain you see will be level before you this day. I want you to agree with the word of God. Jesus says, if you speak to this mountain, be that removed. And I pray for you today. I am agreeing with you over there. Whatever looks as mountain in your family, whatever looks as mountain in your womb that is making you not to conceive, I speak to someone today that that mountain be removed. Whatever look as mountain and you are not seeing way to pass through, I speak to you today that that mountain is being removed. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you that that mountain is removed. That's why Jesus says, whatever we agree here is agree in heaven. Whatever, even we agree with what we agree. So I am agreeing with you based on the covenant of God that you are free today from every shackles of the enemy that has owed you. I want to tell you today that it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will be with you. You will not fail in what you are doing. Everything will work for your good in the mighty name of Jesus. Only what I want you to do, I want you to keep on agreeing and keep on believing the word of God and keep on imparting it into your life in the name of Jesus. Thank you for being part of this podcast this day. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord be with you as we meet next time. Keep on believing. Keep on imparting the word into your life. Amen. Thank you.